Hi everyone, this is Rachel at Studio S with another at-home art lesson for you guys. Today we're going to stick with our spring theme for the week and do a nice bunny headband with some flowers. So we'll go through the supplies you need and go ahead and get started. To kick things off, you're going to want your bunny template. You can get this from our website, there's a link down in the info. We'll need a spool of ribbon. We'll also want a hot glue gun, a sharpie marker, some scissors, and we're going to need a bunch of felt. I'm using white, some green, some pinks and purples for the flowers, some yellow for the centers of the flowers, a nice tan for the centers of the ears and kind of a beigey brown for the ears themselves. All right, so to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is take our scissors and cut out all of the pieces on our template. So go ahead, take a minute and do that very carefully. Next, we're gonna take our long rectangle. That's the biggest rectangle we have in the set. And we're going to cut out two of these pieces. So I line it up with a corner that already has a flat side, that way I only have to draw two lines instead of four. I'm going to make two copies of that one, one right next to the other, and then cut those out. So we've got our two pieces, and now we're going to measure out some ribbon. I always like to err on the side of a longer ribbon, that way we can always trim it when we're done but we make sure we have enough to go around our head. So I'm measuring out about three feet of ribbon, snipping it off my spool. And what we're gonna do is take that long piece of ribbon, we're gonna find our ends and line them up. I'm gonna hold those tight and then go to the other side and find our center. And from the center, we're gonna line up long ways one of our pieces of white felt and put that ribbon right in the middle. This is going to make kind of the headband shape for us to support the bunny ears and flowers. So we'll grab our glue gun. And I'm going to put a thin line of glue right down the middle of our white piece of felt. Try to stay right on track so it stays even and get an even coat. And then very carefully I'm going to take my ribbon, finding that center again press it down into that glue. Take your time with this, be very careful. I'm using a low temperature hot glue gun to make sure that I don't burn my fingers, but it's still very hot, so you wanna be careful. And once I've pressed that down, we'll have a little glue leaking out on either side, so we can just grab our other piece of felt, press that down into there, and it should stick. We'll double check. Make sure everything's pressed down nicely. And if you notice, like I have at the end, a little bubble that didn't get glued, grab your hot glue gun, add a little bit of glue on top of your ribbon, and then just press down. So that's gonna reinforce the part of the headband that goes on top of our head, help keep our bunny ears up, and keep everything nice and sturdy. So our next step is we're gonna start tracing and cutting out our bunny ears. So I'm taking the big bunny ear piece and tracing two of these ears onto my kind of tawny brown fabric. Make sure you make two or you'll have a one-eared bunny. We've got those. We're going to take the smaller ear piece and trace two of those onto our kind of pinky tan fabric for the insides of the ears. Got those. And then we're going to take our biggest rectangle piece. Notice that this is a little wider than the narrow rectangle piece we have that looks very similar. Line it up on a corner trace it and cut one of those out. And this is going to help support our ears so they don't flop down 
and fall backwards on our heads. We've got our support piece cut out, our two inner ears, and our two outer ears. And what we're going to do here, grab our inner ear, line it up where we want to see it on our bunny. And we'll grab our glue gun, and I'm just going to put a thin line of glue down the center of the ear. It doesn't have to be exactly as long, I just want it there to kind of tack this ear on in place so I can get it placed on the ear first. And then I'll notice that the sides are a little loose, I'm going to go back in, open up the space between the two pieces, put a little extra glue around the edge of that pink part. Now we'll get it all the way down. We've got one ear. Go ahead and grab your outer ear and inner ear for the next one and we'll repeat the same process. Thin line of glue down the center. Line up our piece so it's placed just right. Press it down on there and then go around your edges. Glue the edges down as well so it stays on there nicely. There we go. So our next step with these ears, we're going to cut a tiny little notch from the center of the bottom up to the bottom of that inner ear piece. I don't want to cut the inner ear itself. I'm just cutting a little line up to there, right in the middle. What that's going to let us do is overlap the two pieces and add a little dimension to the ear to help it stand up. So you can see I can fold those over and it kind of starts standing up on its own. So we're going to put a dot of glue on one side Lift up the other side and place it on top of the glue and fold them over. So it kind of squares off those two pieces and folds over the ear so it stands up. Press that down so it holds. We'll get the other ear, same process. Dot on the top of one of the pieces. The side that doesn't have glue goes over, sticks on top. Press it down to make our ear stand up. All right, we're ready to attach our ears to our headband. So I'm gonna tuck these underneath the white part of the headband so that they're going, the top of our little folded over part is getting glued to the bottom of our headband. Got our glue in. I'm gonna put a good amount of glue right on that top part that we just glued together. Right over the little fold. I'm sliding it under the headband gluing it to the bottom of that and holding it down so it stays nice and tight. There you go. Grab my other deer and do the same. So a little bit of glue on the front side down at the base. Place it evenly on the other side of the headband. And glue it down. Make sure you're pressing nice and tight so they stay on there. Now they're kind of flopping back, so that's why we have that support piece. So let's grab that. We've got our white rectangle. And what we're going to do is glue that to the backs of the ears about halfway up. And that will help kind of give a support to the ears and help them stand up on their own. So I'm going to glue that off screen and then show you guys what I did because it's a little tricky to do right in front of the camera. There we have it. You can see a little bit of that piece is sticking out at the bottom and I glued it to the backs of the ears and put a little bit of glue in the corners where it touches the headband and where the ears touch the headband. And now they're standing straight up. All right, we're gonna start on our flowers. So I've got my yellow felt. I'm gonna take my narrow rectangle and my bumpy rectangle and trace those onto our yellow felt. So I've got my Sharpie ready to go. We're going to take those long, narrow rectangles and make two of those for the centers of our kind of daisy flowers. So I'm lining it up in the corner so I don't have to trace very much. One side and the top. Just 
scooch it over. Same thing at the top. And I'm just going to go all the way across because it's almost the same length anyway. Get the bumpy rectangle. Line it up on the corner. And trace in those bumps. I want to be really careful and try to be as accurate as possible with those bumps. It's hard to trace on the felt to get that fine detail. But we want to get as close as possible. Alright, so we've got our yellow pieces. We'll go ahead and cut those out. There we go. One bumpy yellow rectangle and two long narrow rectangles. So with the long narrow ones, I'm gonna take my scissors and just about halfway through, I'm gonna cut a little bit of fringe. I don't wanna to go too far down, only about halfway through the width of that long rectangle. I'm just cutting little notches to give it some fringy texture. I'll do that with both pieces. Really taking my time and being super careful not to cut my fingers, of course. And there we go. And what this is going to do, we're going to put a line of glue down the solid side. So we don't want to put glue on the fringy side. But on the side we left solid, we'll put a line of our hot glue. Nice and even so it all sticks together. And then as carefully as possible, we're going to start rolling that up. And I'll just glue it to itself and create a nice little inside piece for our flower. So we've got a spiral on one side, the fringy bits sticking out on the other. I'm going to press down so that felt glues together really nicely. And then I can kind of fan out the fringy bits to make a nice center. Same thing for the other one. We'll put a line of glue down the solid side. And then carefully roll it up. Super careful not to get your fingers. always helpful to ask your parents for help if you're doing this by yourself on this part. There we go. Got the spiral on one side, some nice fluffy flower pollen in the center. That one's good to go. And then finally we'll get our bumpy rectangle for our daffodil. And it's the same process. We're going to put a line of glue down the side and roll it up. And it's just going to give it a slightly different look than the fringy ones. Got a little glue on my fingers. It's low temp hot glue, so it really doesn't hurt that bad. There we go. Rolled up. Giving it a good squeeze. There we go. And finally, we'll go ahead and get our petals ready to go. So I'm going to take the one that looks like a heart, a leaf, our little pointy one, and our little curved one, and trace these all on the felt. We'll start with the pointy one. This is going to be for our daffodil, so I want to make six copies of this petal, and I'm going to do that on the white felt. So you can see I'm using a lot of scrap pieces of felt. Since we're just doing little bits of it, I don't want to use an entire piece of felt for just one little thing. I like to try to save as much fabric as possible so I can make other projects. So try to keep your pieces close together and if you have little scraps this is a great time to use them and just create flowers from whatever colors you have left over. So we've got six of our white petals. We're going to use this little rounded petal next. I think we'll make this one with pink, so we'll grab our pink felt fabric. Trace those on there as well. And 
For this project, I'm just making three flowers, but if you decide that you want more on your headband, you can use the same petals and make them different colors and just make some more of those little yellow insides and make as many flowers as you want. All right, got six of those. Onto our daisy petal, a little bunny ear shape. I'll trace six of these as well. Going for some purple felt this time. And as always, just take your time, trace lightly. You don't want a ton of Sharpie marker on there. It doesn't have to be the most dark, perfect line because we're just going to cut it out and throw that part away anyway. There we go. Six of our daisy petals ready to go. I'm going to take my green and trace about three leaves. We might need some more. I'll start with three. And again, I'm just using a tiny little scrap piece, seeing how many I can fit on there. I think we'll get three out of this one. I'm using up all the little extras that I've got. There we go. So we'll cut all those petals out and get ready to assemble our flowers. So I've got my six pink petals. Six purple petals. Careful not to lose those. Got my six white petals for our daffodil and a few leaves. Start with one of the fringy centers. Grab our glue gun and we'll start with these purple petals. So I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue on the flat end of that purple petal and stick it to the bottom of that center. And we'll do that for each petal and kind of overlap them as we work around. getting a little loose you can always put a little glue along the center just to kind of lock everything down. A little dot of glue, stick it on the back. We've got one extra so we'll just fill in any empty gaps with that one. I think we can put one right there. That one I'll just put a little dot of glue on the back and stick them on there. There we go. Flatten out my fringy bit so it's nice and puffy got one purple flower made. I'll grab the next fringy center and do the same process with our pink petals. So I can put a little dot of glue on there, stick it on the back. And for this one, these are a little easier to place. So I can actually work on the back and just put a little line of glue and stick one petal on at a time. Notice that I'm putting my dot of glue kind of off to the side. I don't want to put it right in the center of the last petal I put on, otherwise they'll just stack up all in the same place. So keep working your way around, kind of balance them out evenly as you go around the center. All right, we'll get that last petal on there everything down so it's nice and sturdy. Fan out our little fringy bit so we've got the center of the flower. Down we're going to work on our daffodil so we'll get kind of that bumpy center one. These petals 
really like to stick together. And pretty much the same process. We're going to put a little line of glue along the bottom of our flower. That's the curvy part. I'm going to stick it to the bottom of my center. For the daffodil, I'm going to work kind of an opposite side. So I'm going to go all the way to the other side, a little dot of glue on the opposite side of my first flower, set up my second flower petal. That way it's kind of split in half. That's going to help me balance everything out. Once that's on there, I can get one half. So I'm just going to put a line of glue down one side, balance my petals out, and stick them on there. There we go. We'll get the other side. Line of glue going from the bottom petal to the top. Stick our two petals on, keeping them balanced evenly. And there we go, we've got a daffodil. So we can grab our bunny headband, it's all ready to go, and start looking at how we want to place these flowers on there. So kind of play around, figure out what order you want your flowers on. Once you've got it planned out, we can start gluing them on. So I'm going to take my pink flower off, grab my hot glue gun, I'm going to put a few little streaks of glue on the base and one on the ear so it kind of tips up so we can see it better. And just gently press down and get it in place. Do the same for our center one. little line of glue on the ear, a couple streaks of glue on the back, line up our flower, and stick it on there. That way it tips up onto the ear a little bit so we can see it even better. For our last one we'll do a little line of glue on the white part on the back so that covers it up. A little extra on the base as well. And we'll stick it right on there. All right, almost done. We've got a few places we can put leaves to cover up some of the white from that headband support. What I'm gonna do here is just put a little bit of glue along the back of the leaf. Grab my headband and where I wanna tuck it in, just kind of lift up the flower petals, slide that leaf under there. That's gonna cover up some of that white fabric, make it look even more lush and flowery. Do that with the rest of our leaves. Carefully place them on there. And decide where I want to put this one. You can play around and see where it might look best. Under that purple flower is going to look good. that on there. And then to make it look neater, I'm going to go and trim off some of those white edges so I just have the little bit of ribbon left. There we go. I even added a leaf to cover up some of the extra white felt and it's good to go. These are great for kids, grown-ups, whoever feels like rocking some bunny ears. I put mine on my dog. He seemed to like it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one and we'll see you next time.